Hey, good afternoon, YouTube. Hey, we're out here in the shop. Uh, we got some more parts in. Uh, I ordered these parts, you know, last month when I ordered the clutch kit and I did all that, and they never showed up. Ordered them from a place in Boulder, Colorado, and if I could remember the name of the place, I'd tell you guys never to order from them because their shipping was lousy. But anyway, what we got are these are the Polaris coil spring spacers for when you're using a snow plow or whatever. It's supposed to not let the front end go down very much. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but the part number is a Polaris part number. It's a 287 2655. It comes in a pair, so I went ahead and got two pairs so I can do the front and the back since you know, we got independent rear suspension. Maybe it'll help with the sagging back there when we ride two up and to have my little rack on the back. Uh, you know, it says uh, in the instructions here that all you need to do is jack up your four wheeler and use a little dish soap and slide these things on. Uh, so, what we're going to do is get the old ATV jack out here. So we'll uh, see what happens. Get this thing up in the air. Make sure we're underneath here. Yeah, looks like we're looking pretty good. Come back a little bit. Now, one of my previous videos, I talked about this. Craftsman ATV lift and uh, like I said in the video I think I ended up getting it on sale for God, like $79 or something like that $89 it was cheap and uh, made my own extension for it and it is it's well worth the money it really is uh, like I said, making the extension blocks for it were pretty easy. And, uh, you know, it's pretty solid on there. Anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and get everything set up and then we'll see if we can't get a set of these on. All right, so it says to put these things about in the middle and, uh, like I said, it said to use dish soap, but I just kind of pre-fit one and it went right in. Um, you just got to kind of work it a little bit. Once it goes in, it's it's there. Uh, it said you could use some zip ties to hold it in place, which I might do because, boy, if that everything ever comes off a of, you know, all the way up, like if you go over a jump or something, that thing's liable to pop out of there. But I don't know, I guess you could crank it down a little bit, maybe. Well, that's a little bit too loose there. I mean. Well, one of the reasons I'm doing this video on this, guys, is that uh, is I went to buy these things. I wanted to know something about them, and I can only find two videos on YouTube. And one of them was really grainy, and the guy pretty much just said, you know, I put them on, and and, and you know, and that's it. Didn't explain, you know, give you any measurements of how much it helped you out. Uh, anything like that the other guy he had a Polaris razor and he had the razor up a tree and the video pulls out and he pulls the razor off the tree and pretty much goes there you go and same deal didn't say anything about installing them you know what it did after he installed them you know what it was like before so I've went ahead and took all my measurements of I did just dock height front and back 
then I put my snow plow on and then I took some measurements with it, you know, raised up. And then me and the wife got on here and we took some more measurements to see where it is with one and two people. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, as soon as I get all these on here, I'll get the old tape measure out and do some more measurements for you guys. And I'll give you the full story and I'll definitely tell you if they're worth it or they're not. But really, I think I got these things for $15 a set. So it really wasn't that bad. So if they don't work, no big deal. You know, if they do, that that's great. It'll be nice. So I guess we'll call it quits for now and I'll go ahead and get the rest of these on here and uh, take all my measurements and we'll get back with you and see what happens. Okay guys, I got these spacers on and uh, they were easy. I didn't have to use any dish soap or anything. You know, they slid right in. Uh, one thing I found out though is in the instructions they tell you to put them in the middle of the spring yeah not so much it once i put them in the middle and i went and checked my measurements and all that i didn't i didn't gain anything nothing at all even with the snow plow on it, it was the same height everything so what i did i went ahead and cranked these things all the way down to the end to the bottom here and uh, you know, I had to put some zip ties on there. And by doing that, then I noticed the difference. <clears throat> so I got some measurements here. I don't know if you can see these or not, but with the stock, with the front end, I had 26 and a quarter, and at the rear, I had 33 and three quarters. When I put the spacers on, I went up to 27 and a quarter in the front. And 34 in the back so I gained an inch in the front and only a quarter inch in the rear so that wasn't much in the, in the back uh, when I put my plow on with the stock I had 25 in the front and 34 and a quarter in the back now I gained an, another inch up front to 26 and it stayed the same in the back and uh, that's what the plow lifted up So I took another measurement with me and the wife on here, riding two up, and I got to change my measurements. Uh, when I took the first measurement, that was with, you know, the springs in the middle, the spring spacers in the middle, so it, it didn't change anything. Uh, so I think what I'll do, I'll set this camera up here. And uh, I'll lift this thing up. down you know quite a bit when you look at plow up but it, it's still I, I've gained an inch which I guess an inch goes a long ways at least that's what they tell me uh, but this is also with it's made by blue manufacturing it's an American well American Eagle I think it is plow so it hooks in it's a front mount so all i have to do is pull these a pin here and a pin on the other side and it just slides right off it is about as simple as it can be no climbing underneath your wheeler nothing so uh i'll back up and set the spec back down i'll show you how easy it is to pull it off Easy. Going back on is just 
and you're ready to plow. This thing also uh, it's got heavy duty skids on it. All the bumpers and everything you need to adjust it to wherever you want. It's got a pivot control of how far back you want the angle of this. Uh, you know, it's got your tilt, you know, when you hit something. The release. One thing I'm trying this year is I rigged up this rope, a couple pulleys, maybe a bar across here, so I can just throw the rope up to where the handlebars are and uh, release that pin from the riding position. And uh, what I've seen some other guys do is just hit a snowbank at an angle and it'll tilt it for you and it'll let go of the rope and you don't have to get off your wheeler. You know, it didn't take me that long. I just had some stuff laying around the shop to hook it up. So if it, if it works, it works. If it's not, no big deal. What I'm going to do is tomorrow I'll take this thing, you know, back out to the farm and ride it around and, and see if I can tell any difference in the suspension with those spacers on or not. And, uh, you know, I'll definitely let you know. But for now, I mean, you know, I'm out 30 bucks. No big deal. You know, I gained an inch. You know, that that's, should help a little bit. You know, it's not sagging as low. But uh, I guess we'll call it good for now. If you uh, got any questions, uh, put them in the old comment bar and I'll answer them. Um, you know, I'll kind of finish this up tomorrow, like I said, and we'll see how it performs. So we'll uh, catch you tomorrow, guys. All right, good morning, YouTube. Well, this is going to be a ride after these spring spacers install. I apologize. I went out the other day and made a, a really good video over the thing and got home and my mic on my helmet must have failed so guess what no audio so we're out here again today and uh we'll go over this thing uh, kind of get out of here but so far what i did learn the other day is is that it really didn't change anything suspension wise you know about uh you know riding any rougher or any smoother or anything like that it's about the same so you know no big deal so you know that's a that's a good thing you know I mean it I did uh, quite a few jumps you know found some terraces at the in-laws house and uh, man it handled great so I guess we'll mark that up to a win you know I mean you know it I guess they do what they say they're supposed to do. You just, you don't get a lot of, uh, you know, ride height out of it. it. You know, like we said before, about an inch is about what you get. You know, you can't ask for more than that. So, you know, and it might be, it might vary from machine to machine too. You know, just cause I got an, you know, an inch out of my suspension with the tires I have doesn't mean that you will. Uh, so, you know, I kind of hope that this, this helps somebody out, you know, if they were thinking about putting these on, you know, that's great. You know, we're gonna, you know, continue this at a later date when, uh, when and if we get any snow. Hey, look at there. Look at all the deer. Wow. Quite a few does. Hope you guys could see that. Seems like every time I come up on top of this hill, I spook some up. They like laying up here in this brush. So, so anyway, like I said, uh, you know, we'll wait and, and hopefully we'll get some snow this year. You know, we haven't got any snow in the last couple of years to, to mean I didn't even plow last year. So that's why I bought this stuff for. So we'll see what happens. So uh, until then, uh, you know, if you, if you like the video, 
give me the big thumbs up and uh, subscribe um, and as always you got any comments or complaints or whatever you know go ahead and leave it in the comment bar and uh, I'll answer it so you guys have a blessed day